you can see both of us clearly na yeah 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 let me go ahead namaste i'm nidhi kumar your host for today's session and we're extremely excited to bring to you inspiring stories from duke and clyde and the goth council innovative e learning platform a one stop destination in edtech and together we like to extend a very fervent welcome to all of you on this our start our startup talkies and together we'd like to extend a very fervent welcome to all of you on this our startup talkies friends food systems affect everyone and incorporate everything from the way food is produced and distributed to how it is consumed we know that the role of young people in transforming food systems is critical our generation of youth is the largest in history and has a valuable role to play sorry i'll say this again our generation of youth is the largest in history and has a valuable role to play in making our food systems more sustainable resilient and effective and i am joined today by someone who's really made an impact in this space i'd like to welcome amit sas shubham maheshwari who founded being chef 7 years ago and has since led the growth of the company he through being chef strives to make people healthy through the daily food intake being chef is a startup operational in the fnb space and provides an exhaustive solution to daily food requirements in a healthy and economical manner by flexible mode of transcription by flexible mode of subscription and on demand nutritional meals it has been operational in gurgaon since 2014 and is the first mover in the div meal kit space in india being chef received the transformation of the year award at amazon sm bhav 2020 the biggest event in the presence of jeff bezos and many other distinguished personalities for its remarkable and inspiring journey being chef has proved its mettle by efficiently serving 17000 people in a single day at five locations and the best part is that it has been bootstrapped all along and has shown interest to build e business i welcome you shubham and of course uh, please tell us about the award that you got and the recognition that you got from forbes uh hi nidhi uh, first of all uh, thank you for having me on the show uh so yeah basically we were uh, listed in forbes 30 under 30 in the list of uh, 2021 for the entire asian subcontinent and uh, yeah i think we were the only company from the food segment uh, to be listed over there apart from that uh, we have recently received couple of recognition it's just uh, you know couple of things that happen in the course of a starting up uh, company that's it nothing nothing more nothing less absolutely if i ask you about innovation as an accelerator as an accelerator i'll say this again or uh, remember ayush kaha cut karna if i ask you about innovation and how it helped you to accelerate your business what are your thoughts so i think uh, innovation is the key factor if you want to kind of disrupt the way things have been happening around uh, you have to innovate and uh, innovation should ideally be focused on solving a problem which is already there in the current system there are a lot of people who you know kind of uh, take innovation in a very different way okay let's do something which is not happening right now but the point which is really important in innovating something is that is that thing even required or not so instead of you know uh, you know ad- analyzing the demand people directly kind of try you know implementing multiple other things so let's say if someone doesn't need that kind of innovation to ease his life then why would you kind of create a company or build a product around it right but this is a trend that we have seen happening in india and around and that's why people burn a lot of money while uh, you know running the startups because there is no actual pull out of uh, you know in the market for that so i think uh, innovation has helped us a lot because uh, we used to face a lot of issues in terms of uh, taking care of our daily meals i was working in a us based consulting firm and uh, every single day was kind of a nightmare uh, when it comes to daily meals because it was it was so boring so mundane and there was there was no actually option through which you can exercise it right so you either you can cook yourself or you can ask someone to cook for you so mm. cooks generally they were not that competent enough to bring that much of innovative recipes they will just have that boring menu apart from that uh, if you want to cook yourself it will take around 40 45 minutes which we generally you know we run out of time right so 
we were just kind of you know taking care of our daily meals in kind of not very exciting way just like chalo theek hai chalta hai wala attitude ki yaar there is no alternative to it right and when finally we thought ki kaun sa rocket science hai let's go into kitchen and cook ourselves right and that was a time uh, we realized that cooking is is such a tedious task uh, it is very simple in a 5 minute youtube video when a suited booted chef comes everything is pre chopped pre processed mm-hmm. all he is doing is just mixing things up but when you to do it on your own you have to do the entire uh, processing and all of those things and i think that uh, became kind of the base for our innovation as to can we somehow ease that cooking process so that people who are cooking maggi as a, you know kind of replacement of their food within 5 minutes they can cook whatever they want to have which it can be indian italian chinese or whatever it is and then you know after like 8 months of uh, doing the job i left the job and started working on this full time and after we created this product after three levels of beta version then we started in, in you know inculcating nutrition into the entire uh, value prop as to how we can also give you nutritious meal uh, along with the ease of cooking and that's how we become like a company which will make you fit and efficient in least possible time so yeah. absolutely uh, and also tell us about the challenges that you faced uh, shubham because there must have been many and yeah, then we'll so, come to the part of cooking yeah so uh, the first and the foremost was that i was quite young i was just 23 years old when uh, i was thinking of building a business around this product second there was no such thing in the market so obviously they, we had no benchmark and uh, it took us three levels of beta version to finally launch the product third was that uh, when we were discussing this entire concept to the people uh, you know pe- people people from the industry industry veterans and all so no one believed in us they were like what are you saying like our professional chefs who have done 10 15 years of training you will just empower an 8 year old kid to cook in the same format right this doesn't even seem practical or feasible right so we didn't get any support which also helped us a lot because we were not getting into this industry with any preconceived notion we were just like fresh minds mechanical engineer other people from my team who were just trying to solve a problem that's it and kind of innovate in the entire segment so challenges kind of you know indirectly helped us in terms of pushing ourselves and then kind of building this product but a lot of iitians who perhaps would love to watch this program and who are you know innovators in the making would ask one question that is uh, what about cash uh, you know you do have challenges on that front initially nobody wants to work for free so how do you manage all of that initially yeah so uh, there are two aspects to this one is that obviously if you want to do something and start something from scratch you have to come out of your comfort zone consulting is one of the highest paying jobs in this world and i was working in one of the top five consultings in this uh, world uh, obviously i took a kind of hit on my personal wealth or personal income what i was generating at a very young age so definitely that was one hit that i took second in terms of uh, having cash for business so if you can't come out of your comfort zone first of all don't start up only <laughs> because it is not going to be a rosy ride uh, you know you might you might become financially stable after a couple of years and those couple of years are kind of uh, you know different for every different person right depending what situation turns and how the market responds and other things right but in terms of creating uh, having cash for the company so we decided to bootstrap we decided to uh, invest in this company from friends and family before going out and raising investment because we wanted to build a sustainable business before raising investment something which can combine profit scale and impact which is one thing which is missing from the entire startup ecosystem even in india and abroad the companies who have scaled up very fast they are you know very high cash burning uh, models so companies who are profitable they are not able to scale up and the companies who are working on impact they are neither talking about profit or scale so we wanted to combine all of these three things into one and operating into an fnb industry which is highly cash burning industry in india you see any of the companies i don't want to name it officially but everyone like for earning a rupee they will spend 4 rupees which doesn't make any sense right from unit economics perspective so that's why we decided to bootstrap and understand the entire business at grassroots level get into depth and then once now we've created the entire model and now we'll raise investment and then scale it up very fast so absolutely uh, tell us some of these interesting uh, recipes that you have for 8 year olds who uh, you know try yourself and go to the so kitchen eight, and just eight, 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 yeah 8 year old can cook anything it can be indian uh, like kadai paneer pasta it can be chole it can be anything like so basically so you have product, these things in pouches uh, how does yeah, yeah. Uh, being chef work yeah so they are like so let's say you want to cook something we'll send you everything uh, all the ingredients from oil to garnish everything pre chop pre process you don't need to even have a kitchen all you have to do is uh, just mix ingredients and you're done and 5 minutes is the maximum time that you'll spend in cooking till date across the world now there are a lot of companies who are operating into diy milk kit segment but no one has been able to crack that 5 minute thing till date across the world 
there have been three unicorns in this space but no one has been able to crack that five minute thing uh, apart from that uh, because we send you everything pre measured customized as per your taste preference and uh, pre portioned you don't need to have any food process or nothing so even if you are staying in a pg you just have a room all you need to have is a fry pan and then uh, induction pan that's it uh, no ingredient nothing is required and that's how it is so easy that even an 8 year old kid can cook anything and you don't let's say if i talk about uh, paranthas or rotis and breads you don't need to uh, you know need the door or do do all of these things right everything is half baked you just have to kind of within 2 minutes your chapatis and breads are done so kind of saving time and at the same time providing nutrition what a wonderful idea shubha and when does this come into the market so it started uh, in 2014 uh 2014 we launched uh, the product after three levels of beta version from june 2014 we started and uh, within time we have kind of built multiple business streams in the same parent company and uh, now being chef is a house of brands running multiple brands into multiple segments with various model on demand model subscription based model and multiple other things that we've been managing and that's how we have kind we are kind of a very different model which is not there right now in indian indian food market uh because we've combined multiple things into one and that's how we are doing it very sustainably absolutely and here it's important to talk about nutrition so i mean uh, uh, my question to you is that uh, uh, you know um, what do you feel about the status of nutrition in india are you trying to improve the same and address it in your model yeah i think uh, it's very sad to know that 80% of the population in india is protein deficient 75% have vitamin deficiency in fact 70% of the urban population is obese these facts are quite alarming <clears throat> i just i was reading it somewhere uh, one percent of the gdp of the entire country is lost because of the unproductivity issues so nutrition is one of the i think one of the key things that one should be focusing on even from the government perspective and from individual perspective and no one and is actually even so from the perspective of the pandemic it's highly important exactly. to exactly. understand that there are people who are starving also they're stunted also exactly so the entire so there there are two major impact angle that came in the model one is that we want to make you fit and efficient so if i talk right now nutrition has been sold as luxury in india so people have this and the perception that ye to ameero ki baatein hain so it has always been positioned as mercedes and what we are trying to do is bring that mercedes to masses at the price point of balino so that masses mm-hmm. can sustainably have it and you know very smoothly inculcate it into their day to day lifestyle so this is one thing that we want that we want to do second is that uh, we want to stop food wastage is happening in the indian kitchen uh, passively or actively uh we as individuals or millennials we end up wasting a lot of food kuch ingredients ka shelf life khatam ho gaya we end up wasting fully cooked meals and also the ingredients right and india is a country where 15% of the population sleep hungry every night we can't just afford to waste food so there are the two major things that we want to focus on in kind of uh, you know take india to a very sustainable based model and make it a mass movement absolutely and as we talk i remember that united nations sustainable development goals i think it's goal number 2 zero hunger Right, right. What are your goals, both now professionally and personally? So I think uh, <laughs> professionally and personally is in quite in sync right now. Uh, our focus is to immediately kind of uh, take this uh, entire product model and uh, this pitch to as many masses as we can. Uh, reach out to million, two million, three million households and into like day-to-day engagement and become a brand like Amul. Like get into everyone's day-to-day household and help them. in easing their uh, life in terms of managing their daily meals and also easing their life in terms of managing their nutrition so kind of we are and just here uh, so, to yeah definitely yeah supposing um, you send a a packed meal for one does uh, right. your packet say it is for uh, it is a helping for one and supposing there are five people does it say all of that so yeah, that yeah. it's not wasted Yeah, yeah, you can you can customize. So when you are placing an order, you can customize as per your taste preference, as per your ingredients preference. If you are allergic to something, you can mention it. You can also mention for how many persons you want to cook this entire dish, and we will send the ingredients accordingly. So absolutely, there is no food wastage that will happen at your end, and your conscience will be quite clear. <laughs> so yeah. What is the costing like of uh, say helping it for depends. one kadai paneer? So, uh, in Yeah, so it's subscription-based model. It's as economical as two hundred rupees per day for three meals: breakfast, lunch, and dinner, everything. So that's what I'm saying. So providing you Mercedes at the price point of Balino, which were any which is spending, and doing it sustainably. That that what creates the entire difference of what we have built. And in terms of on demand, it starts from one hundred and one hundred twenty rupees, depending on the recipes, right? And depending on the portion size that you want to order for. 
And uh, I would like to now ask you, how difficult was it to innovate in the food space, considering there's so many people around you? Yeah, I think uh, so. Competition is something uh, you know. It, it depends on your perception, right? It can be it can be taken in a positive way or a negative way, right? Uh, positively, it helps you a lot in terms of uh, you know kind of because if if a market is big enough, there are multiple places where you can innovate. There are multiple places where there must be pain points. If a market is very nascent, then you know it's 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 good in a way that you don't have competition, but at the same time, it's also bad in a way that you have to push too much. to create that market right so food in general is a market in which uh, i think obviously it's very much unorganized which you want to organize it so if we see from competition perspective we don't see these big players as a competition because what we are trying to target is is the unorganized market which is like the daily meal market which no one has been able to crack in in the indias like like from past 10 15 20 years the companies are trying to do it but they're not able to do it right they can't match the price point they can't match the offerings and other stuff and that is where we are operating which is like 80% of the entire food industry and rest 20% is like ordering online ordering going out and eating out there obviously there are multiple players out there we also have one of the business model which caters to that also but that is not our focus area that the entire focus area is the daily meal market so yeah. yeah absolutely and uh, here uh, there is one more question that comes to my mind do you have to take clearances from fssci and you know other organizations yeah, yeah. yeah all the licensing and uh, all of those things happen right? Like we operate similar to uh, any food company, or ISO certification, right. FSS, and all of those things. Any last piece of advice that you'd like to give young innovators? What is your message? So I think uh, uh, before getting into startup, think hundred times, thousand times. Uh, you should be so attached to a problem that it should uh, it should become the driving force because it's not a rosy ride. And I always say to people around that like, you know whatever we listen or hear in media. mostly there are success stories right but for every one success story there are, it's it is it is it is kind of it it comes after 999 uh, you know failures right so don't just get biased that you want to get into entrepreneurship because it is sounding so cool in the indian ecosystem as of now like because everyone is talking about entrepreneurship you should get into it because some problem is affecting you so deeply that you really want to solve it and that will only become the driving force which will help you in staying like staying in the game because once you enter in this game you have to be in the game agar if you are standing on the pitch and you are just waiting and waiting one ball will come in which you will hit a six right but for that you have to be in the game you can't just win the game just staying uh, outside the game right so i think that becomes the major force and that will only happen only when you have a very deep connection with the problem otherwise 2 uh, 3 years in most of the startups 90% of the startups they shut stop their operation after 2 3 years of inception so funded and non funded the startups absolutely yeah. And on that absolutely wonderful note, pragmatic note, I'd like to thank you for joining us, Shubham, for this thank very you. very interesting conversation. I thank you for your time, and a special shout out to Duke and Clyde and to uh, the Goth Council for organizing this for us. Thank you and Namaste. Thank you, sir. It was wonderful. I loved it. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, we'll have thank more you. of these, Shubham. I'll keep calling you because a lot of people should know about this. Alternative to Maggie. <laughs> yeah, I think that is the biggest market. Are you sure? Yeah, ठीक से. हाँ. Ayush. हाँ हाँ. हो गया. हो गया. Thank you so much, Shubham.